A shocking crime scene in Anaheim. A man crushed to death by a car, and police think he was trying to steal a catalytic converter. This comes amid a surge in thefts of these pricey car parts. KCAL 9's Jasmine Veal has that story. This photo shows a man crushed underneath a Toyota Prius in an auto repair lot in Anaheim after police say he was trying to steal the car's catalytic converter overnight. The jack that he used to lift up the vehicle failed, and the car came down on top of him, uh, unfortunately crushing him and, and causing his death. Police found his tools he had left behind under the car, which belongs to Wilmar Rodriguez's building company. It's just unfortunate that that situation had to happen. Several business owners here say this is not the first time thieves have stolen their catalytic converters, which is a costly critical emissions control device that can be sawed off from the belly of a car in minutes and contains precious metals. On recent weeks, we've had uh, a rash of uh, catalytic converters stolen out of the uh, complex here. Sean Harp was one of the first business owners to discover the man's body and call police. What I found peculiar was that uh, his shoes were off. It led me to believe that somebody was there assisting him and tried to pull him out, maybe. And why a Toyota Prius? Because these converters fetch a higher price because the gas engines don't run as much, meaning more of those precious metals are still there. It's a crime that we've seen in Southern California uh, occurring for quite a while, uh, but right now it does seem to be reaching uh, somewhat more of a, of a fevered pitch. Just last Friday, police found a catalytic converter and power saw inside this truck after the speeding driver crashed into a Garden Grove pool, killing the two parolees inside along with an innocent driver. These stolen catalytic converters were found in Santa Monica. The parts are shipped overseas, like to China, where the price has quadrupled in the last five years due to demand because of stricter emission restrictions. As for this case, police are still looking for any accomplices. In Anaheim, Jasmine Veal, KCAL 9 News. And there are ways you can keep an eye on your catalytic converter. At the sheriff stations in Walnut and Diamond Bar, auto workers etched driver's license plate numbers on their catalytic converters for free today. The goal is to deter thieves from stealing the hot commodity and assist police with catching and prosecuting them.